Audubon Boys Distance Medley joining us down here at the state track meet after their 1A competition. We're going to start off with the opening guy here today in Riley Jones. Riley, how did you feel like your start went today? I feel like it went all right. Yeah, this, this track's a lot more grippy than all the other ones, so I feel like I had a good, a good start. It was a good start. I feel like my leg went pretty good. Talk about your part of the leg. Uh, where'd you feel your best? Um, did you feel like where you wanted to be at when you when you hand it off? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the two hundreds are very important parts of it, but the D mate comes down to the four and the eight, so I felt like I gave them time to Colby in a in a good enough spot to be competitive. What was kind of your goal and your strategy coming in today? How'd you want to run your leg? I just wanted to to run it or make sure I was warmed up. Didn't want to blow a tire or anything. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to run my my leg. My whole goal was to run it run it hard and give the baton to Colby so Colby could do his thing and and get us close to the front again so then Jake can do his thing. Well, Riley, appreciate you joining us. Great job today. Thank you. Let's talk now with Colby Rattenberg, who did run that other 200. Colby, how did you feel like the handoff went and then the first part of your race? Uh, handoff, I felt, was great. You know, we practiced it 10, 15 minutes before, so felt like we were good. So I saw he was a little tired. You know, he wasn't like completely gasped, so didn't come out as fast as I could. So I came out at a good speed to make it a good handoff and I don't know, I felt my, like my leg was all right. You know, I didn't feel as fast as I wanted to, but who knows, it felt, it felt very long. Where did you feel the strongest on your part? Probably around the, uh, the last little bit of the curve, like the last quarter of the curve, heading into the home stretch. How'd you feel your handoff with Jake went? Good. Yeah. Good? What yep. was your strategy coming in today? How'd you want to do your portion of the race? Just run as fast as I could, see if have Riley get us out there and have hopefully I can get us up even farther. That's my strategy. All right, Colby, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Move over now to Jake Mulford, who had to run the 400 today. Jake, how did you feel you started off after the handoff? Uh, I thought I was going pretty good. Colby got the handoff to me. Pretty good handoff, took off good. We started in the middle, fifth or sixth place. I got it up to second. I felt like I ran that back stretch really well. I got around that curve. I came up on that home stretch. I thought it went really well. And, and like they said, the 400 and 800 was really going to make the difference in these races. And I figured I'm, I got the 400, so I need to run as good as hard as I can to help get a lead or close the gap or whatever you have to do. What makes you such a good 400 runner, you think? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not really built for a 400, but <laughs> no. I got... I know makes him so good. He doesn't know when to slow down. He's, I know he always pushes as hard as he can, no matter what. He doesn't let yeah. anything stop him. He's a competitor, so that's what, what makes you, him run. What do you think of that, Jake? I think it sounds up pretty good. I mean, I just don't like to lose, and it might, it might sound weird even in this. It's just like, yeah, like he said, it's all mental. You just want to keep going and going and driving to get that next person running. How'd you feel like the end of the race was for you? Pretty good. I think it went pretty good. I don't know if I finished as well as I usually do. I think I used a lot coming out of that. First 300, I got about to the 50. I died a little bit at the end, but I think I still ran a pretty good time overall. Well, Jake, we appreciate you joining us. Great job out here today. Thank you. Let's move on over here to Trevor Smith, who you met just a moment ago as he was complimenting his teammates. Trevor, uh, you had to run the eight, kind of warm already this morning. Uh, what was your strategy coming in, knowing it was a little warmer than norm? I just, we were plenty warmed up. I also didn't want to warm up too much, so stopped at a certain point from warming up and so just knew I had to go out. Didn't want to kill myself totally on that first lap because I knew we didn't run anything quite this hot so I didn't know how it would be so pace it a little bit and just go from there. Did you feel like you ran your race? I, I, I felt like I ran mine. They just so many people ran it faster than <laughs> I did today and yeah it fell back a little a couple places but we ran our best time so I was happy with that. I was going to say how tough is it though knowing that you know you're trying everything and you got some guys especially towards the end they're kind of getting past you. Yeah, that's definitely hard when you see them coming and you want to kick in, but you don't have anything left, so you're just digging with what you got, and you can only go so fast, so just happy with it overall, I think. Three seconds faster than what you guys have run all year. Uh, talk about that. Oh, it's big. I mean, when I was finishing, I didn't think we ran. Well, I, actually, I should say I saw the first seat, and they come out and run 339. I'm thinking, that's nine seconds faster than we've run all year. We got our work cut out for us, and <laughs> so we're on our best time is definitely all we could ask for. Well, guys, I appreciate y'all joining me. Congratulations. Great effort out here today. Thank you. Thank you.